Well, let's cross to Valeria Leon, who's in Mexico City. Uh, Valeria, is this bad luck or bad government? Well, Mexico's president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, has blamed actually news organizations for reporting on Mexico's rise up the ranks of the global debt tally. Uh, Mexicans in poor communities are disproportionately dying of COVID-19, and many of these patients are concentrated in working class neighborhoods. But Mexico's president, Lopez Obrador, has blamed Mexicans for help as, well, for an excuse for why the virus has hit the country so hard. But actually, recent data has contradicted this message, showing that there are actually hospitals in the country that they are not able to provide adequate treatment for patients with COVID-19. And Mexico, as we know, has one of the highest dead rates uh, rates, but also the country has one of the lowest testing rates. The Mexico has performed just three tests per 100,000 people on a daily basis since the pandemic started, and 67 percent of this resulted positive. With such a high positivity rate, this means that the Mexican government is testing the sickest patients and not casting a wide enough net. But despite this situation, well, and after a short, non-obligatory quarantine, Mexico has started to reopen its economy. Uh, the, the government has announced this plan that includes a four-color cutting system, which let people know what activities are allowed. Just this morning, Mexico City Mayor Claudia Sheinbaum announced that the capital, Mexico City, will remain in uh, at Orange, which is the second highest alert phase even though there is a warning of a surge in cases. And, and what's the situation looking like in Latin America as a whole? Well, Mexico leads in lethality in Latin America, a region that's already considered the epicenter of this pandemic because of the rapid expansion of the cases. Mexico reports the highest proportion, even higher than Brazil, which has the second highest number of confirmed cases in the world. This is according to the Johns Hopkins University. And months have passed since the pandemic struck Latin America, and the virus is only gaining steam across the region that have more than doubled in a month and the region now accounts for several of the world's worst outbreaks. Valeria, thank you very much indeed. That's Valeria Leon reporting from Mexico.